Today on HSVN. My experience with neurovirus gastroenteritis. Mary, can you make me a salad? I'm starving. I'll be right out to get that for you. Eight hours at a nursing home, cleaning up after old people. Then I gotta come here and do this. Mary, hurry! The special will be back after this commercial break. Holly, you get a serious viral infection if you keep biting your nails. That's horse. <gasps> Dirty mouth, clean it up with Orbit Antiseptic Gum. HSVN Norovirus Special. Holly decides to go to the hospital due to persistent symptoms. I'm Nurse Veronica. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling today? Mm, not so good. My stomach really hurts. Hmm. So what symptoms are you having besides your stomach hurting? I've been vomiting all day and I've had really bad diarrhea. Okay. Well, let's take your temperature. Can I get a bucket just in case? I've been vomiting all day and it's uncontrollable. Let me get that thermometer. <laughs> Let me get that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Well, the temperature's a little bit high. So I'll get the doctor to come and he'll see you right away, okay? Yep. Thank you. See that nurse Veronica that I'm going to need her after I see this patient? Thanks. Hi, Holly. I'm Dr. Nunez. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, I see you're coming in today because your stomach hurts, you're vomiting, diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Have you been exposed to anyone else's vomit or maybe any body fluids? You no, know, I'm homeschooled. I really rarely go out. Okay. So, do you always wash your hands, keep them clean, making sure you don't touch any contaminated areas? Yeah, I use antibacterial root pretty often. So, uh, if you're taking all the precautions necessary, then we're going to have to take a stool sample mm -hmm. and maybe a blood sample as well. And you seem a little bit dehydrated, so we'll hook you up to an IV line. And then maybe in about an hour you can go home and come back tomorrow to get your results, all right? Mm -hmm. You can lay down and I'll send the nurse back in. Stay tuned for more norovirus after this short commercial break. Just one minute of rinsing with Listerine kills 99.99% .99 of the bacteria in your mouth. Keep going and swish away that bad breath, germs, and plaque. You made it! Listerine Total Care Anti-Cavity Mouthwash. HSVN Special. It is the next day and Holly is waiting for her results. Hello again, Holly. Hi. How are you feeling today? Mm, same as yesterday, not good. Okay. Well, good news is I got some results. So what we did is we took your stool sample and we put it through a reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. And that's a procedure that detects the viral infection because the viruses are very susceptible to it and um, they're very sensitive to the reaction. Um, so our diagnosis shows that you have been infected with norovirus gastroenteritis. What? What is that? Okay, well norovirus gastroenteritis is a viral infection and it's caused by a virus no, called norovirus, hence the name. 
Um, they do have different strains, but they all cause the same infection. And uh, it infects your intestines. So it goes through your stomach and infects your intestines. Um, consequently, it leads to diarrhea and vomiting and it's the nauseous feeling that you were getting. And um, that's how why you were feeling that way yesterday. And um, it can also slightly raise your temperature, so that's why your temperature was a little off yesterday. I don't understand how I could have gotten that. I'm always home. I wash my hands a lot. I just don't get it. Well, technically everyone is at risk of getting norovirus gastroenteritis. And um, you may also know it as the stomach flu. That's the more common term that everyone uses. Uh, 21 million cases of norovirus infections are reported in the United States annually. So that's a lot. And actually a fourth of them are due to foodborne contamination. So I'm thinking maybe there was something in your food that got you really sick. So there are a few ways that you can get this viral infection. Um, the main way is fecal oral. And so I wanted to know if there's anyone who lives with you that maybe cleans or cooks that could have possibly contaminated your food or your house. Yes, my cook Mary, She's always she always comes in smelling like old people because she works in a nursing home and cleans them all day long and then she comes to our house and makes us dinner. I'm guessing that's what caused it. Well, yeah, if she works at a nursing home or if there's anyone that works at a hospital, it's very likely that they're picking up bacteria from everywhere. And uh, we'll uh, she could have possibly contaminated your food if she didn't um, clean her hands properly before preparing your food. And really, the virus, it only takes about 10 particles of this virus for it to actually, for you to get the infection and for your food to be contaminated. Ew, so she doesn't wash her hands? And I eat her food that she prepares? That's gross. Well, if you can give us her contact information and we can test her stool, then we can make sure that that's the actual route of transmission because, like I said, there's many ways you can, there's a few ways you can get this infection but until then what you can do is you can drink lots of liquids like Gatorade and or you can drink soups as well um, just remain hydrated at all times can't you just give me a vaccine or some medicine or something I feel awful yeah that would be nice Holly but unfortunately there is no treatment for this infection and there's no vaccine either so your system should only your symptoms should only persist for about today, like the remainder of today, tomorrow, no more than two days, because that'll be enough time for your immune system to fight off the virus itself. And um, if it if you continue to have Mary work for you, then I think it'd be best if you make sure that she's washing her hands before she's preparing her food, and. Um, don't be surprised if you possibly get the infection again because it's really hard to build an immunity for this infection since there's so many strains. Um, if you can prevent getting the infection by washing your hands all the time, especially when you're using the restroom or handling food or interacting with Mary, <laughs> and before you prepare your own meal, make sure you wash the fruits as well and your, and your hands. So, do you have any questions for me today? Uh, no, I think I'm all set. All right. Thank, Thank you. Have a good you one. too. After my stomach flu scare, I decided to find out what exactly was causing my stomach pains. The Center for Disease Control says that the virus attaches to the cells of my intestines, which bypass the stomach. Because the virus survives in harsh environments, they multiply and invade my stomach cells, shutting them down and continually, continuously replicating. The cell bursts and the virus spreads to other intestinal cells. Thankfully, my immune system begins to produce antibodies to inactivate the virus. Although I vomited a lot, there is no need to get rid of the virus, especially since it is not active in my stomach, but active in my intestines. Now that my symptoms have subsided after 48 hours, I am no longer contagious. That was my story about norovirus gastroenteritis. Remember to wash your hands before, before preparing food and after using the restroom.